Hello and welcome everyone to another episode in Eye on Heraldry. Today's topic is going to be the history, evolution and meaning behind Armenia's beautiful coat of arms. Uh, I apologize in advance if I mispronounce any Armenian names. I'll try to give a little bit of a simple historical account and evolution of the Armenian coat of arms. The story starts in 1918 after Armenia's independence and the fall of the Ottomans. The coat of arms was designed by architect and member of the Russian Academy of Fine Arts, Alexander Tamanyan, and the artist uh, Hakob Kojoyan. In 1922, Armenia was incorporated into the Transcaucasian SFSR, or the Soviet Republic, after the Soviet Union rose. The coat of arms of the Transcaucasian Soviet Republic was adapted by the government of the uh, Republic. It's uncertain when exactly it was adopted, but we can see that it uh, features Mount Ararat. In 1937, we can see that the new coat of arms was adopted by the Soviet-controlled um, Armenian Republic. Like the coat of arms of the first independent republic, this one also features the Mount Ararat along with the Soviet hammer and sickle uh, and the red star behind it. And after the Soviet Union broke apart in 1991 and Armenia thus became an independent republic in 1992, a slightly modified version of the coat of arms from the first republic, which is the one we know and love from today, was adopted. For the symbolism, we can see both the eagle and the lion, which are the supporters of the shield, are a common theme in the civilizations and the Armenian people and the Armenian highlands. As such, they have been represented throughout various Armenian dynasties. So we can see the eagle supports the shield on the left side of the coat of arms, uh, while the lion supports the right side. The eagle stands in as a symbol for the Artaxiad dynasty and later as a symbol for the Arsacid dynasty of Armenia. Similarly, the lion is a symbol for the Bargatuni dynasty and later as a symbol for the Rubinid dynasty and it holds that side of the shield. These animals were also chosen because of their power, courage, patience, wisdom, nobility in the animal kingdom. Moving on to the shield, in the center of the shield we see a depiction of Mount Ararat with Noah's Ark sitting on top of it. According to tradition, the Ark is said to have finally rested on the mountain after the Great Flood. Ararat also is considered as a national symbol of Armenia and thus it is the principal importance of that coat of arms. Surrounding Mount Ararat in the shield, there are symbols of the old Armenian dynasties we discussed earlier. Below the shield, we see a sword breaking chains, which represents the power and strength of the nation, breaking the chains of oppression and genocide by the Ottoman Turks to gain independence and freedom. The wheat ears and feathers underneath that and behind it represent the hardworking nature of the Armenian people, as well as the intellectual and cult cultural heritage of the Armenian people. The ribbon we see behind everything below the coat of arms represents the 1.5 million deaths uh, that happened due to the genocide and crimes of the Ottoman Empire against the Armenian people. With that, I'd like to see your opinions of this coat of arms and which one of the older versions of the Armenian coat of arms do you like best and why. I would also like to invite you to subscribe to Eye on Heraldry if you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.